Heavenly Father, we bless your name for what you are doing for us. Thank you for the volume of prayers that have gone to heaven. And thank you for the great volume of answers coming down from heaven. Lord, we know that everyone here, brother, sister, minister, overseer, pastor, whatever challenges we're facing in our families, and whatever challenges we're facing, crisis, in any family, we know the problem is solved. And Lord, we pray that that heavenly solution you have brought already to every family. Lord, I pray that this solution be permanent in Jesus' name. What the tears of your people are away. We'll have joy over our children. We'll have joy in our family. And the joy and the fellowship and the love in our families will help us to move forward in the work of the Lord in Jesus' name. We will touch untouched people. We'll reach on rich people. And Lord, we're going to cover the land in the name of Jesus. While your people are committed and consecrated to the work you have given us to do, we we'll pray everything that concerns their family, everything that concerns their wives and their husbands, everything that concerns their children, their parents, everything that concerns anything around them. Oh Lord, I pray you will perfect everything in Jesus' name. When we'll come back another time, if Jesus tarries, we'll see all the prayers we prayed individually and corporately, we got answers to them. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you very much. Resources for finishing Christ's unfinished work. Resources for finishing Christ's unfinished work. Many times when people hear that there is Christ's unfinished work, they can't understand. Because they've read one verse of scripture. And that verse of scripture tells us that Christ finished his work. We're coming to John. As you look at John, and you see the passion in the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the express image of the expression of the work he wanted to do. Look at chapter 4 verse 34. Jesus says unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. When we read that, we'll say what he said. That was his meat, his passion, his desire. And didn't he finish? We're looking at John chapter 17. John chapter 17. And we're reading from verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Again, when we read that, we'll say, but he said he has finished. He had a desire, he had a passion, and he had the, a project in, his, in front of him. And he said, I want to do that. I want to finish that. And now over here it says, I have glorified you. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Chapter 19, we're looking at verse 30. John, chapter 19, verse 30. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. People say, That's final. Because he said, I have finished the work you gave me to do and over here he said it's finished it's done it's finished and so when we're now talking about christ of finished work many people cannot understand that christ still has an unfinished task or assignment let me take you back to the beginning that is to genesis chapter 2 and let's look at god himself now the father and let's see the expression that the father used concerning the work that he did. We're looking at Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them finished, done. The Almighty God said, He has done everything. Thus the heavens and the earth, everything was finished in verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended His work which he had made he ended he finished his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made but then you understand when jesus christ came we're looking at john chapter 5 
John chapter 5 and now we're looking at verse 17 John chapter 5 verse 17 and remember what we read in Genesis chapter 2 the Lord finished his work Almighty God the Father he finished his work chapter 5 of John verse 17 Jesus answered them my father walketh either to and I walk you see as you compare that with Genesis chapter 2 when it says all the world heavens and the earth everything finalized everything finished and yet Jesus Christ is saying here as my father walketh either to that is from that time when it was announced when it was proclaimed that the work of the father had finished now he said my father is still at work that means then there is an aspect of the work that was finished after the creation and then there's another aspect of the work that continues and continues until at the time of the lord jesus christ the same thing as we bring that back to the lord jesus christ that there are areas of war that are still to be done and it's the work of Christ and it's Christ of finished work even though the work of redemption that one is settled on the cross of Calvary and the work of sin the, the sin that will make people to be saved that was finished on the cross of Calvary Hebrews chapter 4 Hebrews chapter 4 I'm reading from verse 1 Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 let us therefore fear lest the promise be let us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it and then it says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not be means of faith in them that heard it look at verse 3 for we which have believed do enter into rest as he said as I have sworn in my robe, if they shall, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, he said, there are some people that have not entered into the rest, into the restoration, and they have not entered into the redemption, into the salvation of the Lord. In fact, there are some people, for children of Israel, for them, it was forever gone away from their hands. They never entered, even though the works were finished from the foundation of the world. And when Jesus Christ announced on the cross of Calvary, and he said, it is finished, that means the works are finished. Everything that needs to be done for the salvation of the whole world, everything has been finished. But don't you know, and don't I know, don't we know all together, there are people that have not entered into that rest. They have not entered into that restoration. They have not entered into that redemption. They have not entered into that salvation. Because of that, that's why we now need to finish Christ's unfinished work. And we have resources for that. And the Lord is saying, there must be those resources that we are taking in our hands. And he gave us all those resources. And he says, I've given you this for one purpose and for one thing. And it is to finish the unfinished work. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ, after he said, it is finished. He still gave the people the work to do. And then he told them, they're looking at Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. I'm reading there from verse, I'm reading from verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured from with power from on high. He said, I'm going to give you resources. What for? To do the work, to carry on. The assignment I'm giving to you. Because even though I said, because now this is after the resurrection, and this is after the crucifixion and the burial and resurrection, he said, even though I said at the point of crucifixion when I was going to give up my life for the salvation of the whole world, I said, it is finished. Yes, it's finished, but do they know in Jerusalem? Do they know in Samaria? Do they know in Judea? Do they know in the uttermost part of the earth? And because they do not know yet, that's why now the unfinished work, the aspect of redemption, salvation, sacrifice, atonement, everything is done. But now I'm giving you the assignment. 
and the work is just beginning that's why i'm telling you to tarry and to wait in jerusalem until you may deal with power from on high then he tells us in acts of the apostles chapter one acts of the apostles chapter one that there is work to do there's work to do the finished work of redemption and the finished work of salvation we need to go and tell everybody in the world and that work of taking the gospel of taking that redemption story and going to tell everybody in the whole world that is a finished task it's a finished work and we need every day and every week and every month every year of our lives to consecrate and commit our lives to that so that that work eventually will be done and fully done it will be done in jesus name but he's giving us resources that's why I left his name behind. He said, I give you my name. That's why I left the power behind. I give you the power. That's why I left the scriptures, the light of the gospel. That's why I left that behind. He gave us the gospel. That's why he gave us a message to go and tell all the things we need so that we can get the work done. He has given unto us. And we need to rediscover. And then we need to reapply. And we need to be able to take hold of those resources and then go forth and be able to tell that redemption story until everybody on the face of the earth in our generation will hear that gospel and then we'll be able to say we've done it we're finished it we're going to do it in jesus name acts of the apostles chapter one i'm reading from verse i'm reading from verse um, from verse one acts chapter one and I'm going to read from verse 1 Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 and you'll see that the work is yet to be finished and so the Lord is saying go ahead and get it done we're looking at chapter 1 of Acts verse 1 it says the former treatise have I made of Theophilus of all that of all that Jesus began but to do and to teach he said of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach that's telling you something he began he didn't finish that one the work of teaching and the work of doing the science and the wonders that one has not finished you're going to discover something i'm going to just put your finger i'm coming back to acts of the apostles chapter one but I'm, I, I want you to read look at the last word in matthew matthew chapter 28 and the very last word there everybody quickly open your bible matthew chapter 28 was the last word there amen it's done amen it's done because jesus christ went to the cross and then he died and when he died he finished the word that's the work of redemption come to mark chapter 16 mark chapter 16 and tell me what's the final word there amen he said it's done jesus came into this world and when he came into this world he went about doing good and he under to oppress of the devil because god was with him and then he went to the cross and he died for us and he was buried on the third day he rose again and after that resurrection because of the salvation of humanity and the justification of all the sinners amen it is done and then you come to Luke. look at luke and you're looking at the final at the final verse there luke chapter 24 and tell me the last word there that's the name and that's the name and it's done redemption is completed atonement it is done the sacrifice of the lord jesus christ it is done look at john gospel according to saint john and you're looking at chapter 21 there and tell me the last word there Amen. Now let's go to Acts of the Apostles and look at the final chapter there. Acts of the Apostles. We're looking at the final, uh, final verse there. Acts chapter twenty-eight. Uh, what do you see there? The Amen is the Amen there. No. Jesus began after redemption, after salvation, after the work that He did on the cross of Calvary amen it is finished everything you ought to do so that humanity will be saved it is done and both heaven and earth shout amen and now it now opens a new page because that is done that which has not been done that which has not been accomplished that which has not been finalized and settled and 
finish that is just beginning that's why you can't that's why you don't have that amen at the end of chapter 28 in, in the acts of the apostles because it's the acts of the apostles in the church and for the world reaching out and reaching out and reaching out and it's still going on and still going on there's no finality yet on that and there's no finish something yet on that it is still going on we're coming back to acts of the apostles now and we're looking at chapter one acts chapter one i'm reading from verse one the former treatise have i made otiophilos of all that jesus began the preaching it began the walking of miracles it began the healing of the sick it began and then the delivery of the press it began of all that it began but to do and to teach the teaching the evangelization it only began at that time salvation finalized atonement finalized the price he paid for redemption finalized but it's still something that continues look at verse 2 until the day in the in which he was taken up after he through the holy ghost had given commandments unto the, unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many valuable pros being seen of them 40 days and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them he commanded them that they should not that they should not depart from Jerusalem but do what he didn't tell me but wait for the promise of the father which saith he, ye have heard of me, but John truly really baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. In verse 8, but he shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses. The work of witnessing. That one continues. That one has not been finished. And Jesus began the witness. He gave